Hey everybody! Welcome to our Let's Play. About 4.6 billion years ago, the Sun had nine smaller stars and named the third one Gaia. My dear Gaia, please listen to me. From this time forward, every one billion years, you will have children. Called life. One of them will be able to help you. To build a new era. Each child must endure a difficult trial. You might think it's too severe, but it is necessary. The trial is a test of nature, and the survival of the fittest. If he passes, I will allow him to be your partner, and to enter Eden. Now we see the Earth turn to a beautiful blue planet. EVO, search for Eden. Now, this is an NES game that I've been wanting to try out for a little while now. Well, I shouldn't say try out, because this is an old game that I loved from my childhood, but I wanted to play it for all of you after di discussing it with other people about obscure Super Nintendo games. So, let's start it up, and you guys can see what it's all about. Alright, there's... Gaia. Hi, my name is Gaia. I am the one who watches over all life, including you. You will journey through many periods of time on this planet, a journey of change. The journey will not be easy. Only the strong will survive. This is a trial given by my father. I hope you can survive this trial and meet me in Eden. This will be the end of your journey. Well, the time has come. You may go now. You are already a fish. It took three billion years for you to evolve your body. Or rather, for your body to evolve. You must travel alone. Please be careful. Good luck! Chapter 1, The World Before Land, 500 to 450 million B.C. Alright, now this is our overmap, or overworld map, rather. And that little green fish you see there towards the bottom is us. Now we can't go anywhere else, so we're going to move into the first stage. Ocean of Origin. You'll see us swimming around a little bit. What? We have another newcomer. Welcome to the world, where the rule is only the fittest shall survive. Look, newcomer, you better listen to the rules of this world. There are three. One, fight for survival and for food. Two, only move forward, never back. And the last is, evolve and become strong. Well, this is a very dangerous world, isn't it? Are you afraid of it? The weak and flabby will be easy to defeat. What about you, newcomer? Alright, so, now we start EBO. This is an action RPG made by Enix. Back when Enix was freaking awesome. We play this little fish who's on the journey to become Gaia's partner in Eden. And we've got to fight our way through the different stages against different enemies. Now, it's an action RPG. Obviously, because it's an action game, you can see us here right now fighting against the enemies. It's an RPG because it includes RPG elements. That's not the button. 
Well, I might as well show it to you now. You collect points to evolve different parts of your body that give you stat boosts. So let's uh, evolve the original dorsal fin right now. It costs 50 points, and we have 50 points. The mysterious time stream evolves you. You see, now we got a dorsal fin on the back. Where are we? Oh, capability. And these are our stats. By evolving that dorsal fin, our max hit points have gone up, and our strength has gone up. And I'll show you what strength does in a second. We have a couple of ways of attacking. The bite is what you've been seeing us do. Right now the bite only does a single point of damage, like our stats show. But if you charge, and press the A button, you get to do a charge attack. And that does two damage. Now, you've, been, you've seen me eating the meat that these enemies drop. And you can do that with a bite attack, or with a gulp. A gulp is better only in the, the cases where you don't want to uh, hit an enemy by biting, or if biting, you can't reach it. Now, we're not going to spend too much time around here. Let's move on to the next stage. Now we're going to move up to the next stage. The Cave of Guidance. Now, these jellyfish don't have much to say. We're going to eat them nonetheless. Eels. These eels are a little tougher. Now you see when we took a bite of that meat? So sort of two numbers, one in white and one in red. Well, the white number, 15, is how many evolution points we got. We're going to use those to get more upgrades. The red number is how much health we got back. So when we defeat an enemy, we recover some of our health. There we go. We can also eat plants and other stuff. Oh, rumors circulate among the cucumbers. The angler's horn attracts enemies because of its great light. They say we can't return here if we cross the third volcano in the sea. This guy has planned to lead the fish to a new world. Hmm. New world. Chomp. Something speaks in your body. How are you progressing? Don't worry, I will help you evolve. You may call me Crystal. I will give you advice on how to evolve. Evolving your jaws will increase your biting strength. Evolving your body will increase your defensive power. Evolving your horns will increase your attack power. Evolving your hands, feet, and dorsal fin, as well as your tail, will increase your hit point level of agility and strength. Be careful. Evolving one part of your body may decrease another. Alright, so that, that part of the game just told you pretty much everything you need to know on how evolution works. We got about a hundred points. Let's see if we can evolve something. No, well, can't do the jaws. Can't do the horns. Well, I'll save the horns anyway. The body. How about the hands and feet? Nope. Tail? Yep. Okay, if you thought my pronunciations of words were amusing in Ravenloft and Fatal Frame, <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet until it comes to prehistoric fish. Alright, let's see if I can pronounce this. Kulefish? Kulefish? Tail? Well, let's evolve it and see what happens. See, the shape of our tail has changed. We now have more hit points. Let's see if our charge does more damage. No, nope, charge does the same. That's it for this stage. Jump. Now we move on to the third 
strange. The Cave of Temptation. Hi there, fish. Try eating a red crystal. You may evolve into a strange creature. Gulp. Crystal power causes mysterious evolution. A mysterious time stream evolves you. And now we've turned into an eel. A badass eel that does three damage with each bite. I have 100 hit points. Now, let's take a look at our buddy's capabilities. See? It has 100 hit points, its biting power is 3, and the same with its strength. Its agility is 12, and its jumping ability is 6. Jumping ability doesn't matter right now since we're fish. But whenever you eat a red crystal like that, you'll evolve into something unusual. Something that you can only turn into that way. Right here, the record of evolution allows you to save whatever creature you've transformed into if you want to transform back into it later. So we're going to save this guy. Name the evolved creature. We're going to name it Eel. take advantage of it. At least we're going to try. Butt kick here. And these little green whatever they are, pretty good sources of experience. Oh, crystal power doesn't work yet. Return to former body. Well, we're done now. But we're 200 points stronger, so why don't we try to evolve something? The Curry. Kura Selithkaith? That's like close jaws. Now we have these kind of sharp looking jaws. You actually see the teeth. Our biting power is nearly as strong, or rather is as strong, as when we were an eel. Alright, so let's move on to the next part. stage yet and completed, completed it. So we're going to do that now. Uh, these guys are kind of fast, so we got to try to charge them. Ah, uh, not enough. are also pretty good sources of XP. Come on. Oh, oh that green flashing meat is special. That gives you, I think it was, four times as much XP. So, let's try evolving. Uh, we've evolved a dorsal fin, a tail, a 
Let's go for hands and feet. A fish tail? Coley fish fin? Oh, now we're kind of speedy. And our charge does enough damage. Kill with one hit. Well, kill these guys with one hit. There's a wall of bubbles. Oh, the wall of bubbles has disappeared because of the explosion from the volcano. Alright, we're going to get out of this stage. Because that is a place where we can die pretty easily. Those rocks that we're shooting up out of the volcano, they can damage you. And we don't want that to happen. The cave of... I missed it. Zinctheus? Zinctheus? <laughs> That might have been hard for you to see, but I accidentally charged into the wall. Jump. Ah. Getting ruined. You guys are too tough. Good experience, though. Oh. Those, that's another thing we want to be careful of. Those little guys. Those little guys can ruin your day. Like that. Just ruined my day. <laughs> well, now you get to see the game over a screen. Sorry, you've been defeated. I will revive you, but please keep this a secret from my father, the son. Your evolution points has been reduced slightly. Alright, so let's jump back in. Cave of Zinctheus. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave him alone. Yeah, they're not they're they're not that hard to kill. But they will hurt like the dickens when they get you. Oh, now that's the blue crystal. The blue crystal gives you a huge bonus of experience. Now that's not quite enough to get our super tough jaws. So let's wait until we can get the super tough jaws. Or rather, we'll... Well, I thought we would take him on.
your health gets restored. And now we have the toughest jaws you can get in this game. Oh, these are more volcanoes. Alright, we're gonna try to zoom past them as fast as we can. Remember, the, the cucumber said if we go past this volcano, we can't come back. Oh. Change color and texture. Now our body's a bit tougher, so we'll take less damage. See, that only did it one point of damage. 